Hi, I'm Steven George, and people seem to like it when I talk about video games. So today, we're watching the PS5 reveal event. We're starting with large, ominous white cubes that slowly dissolve away to show different shapes. I find this word very hard to read. Now there's the classic introduction. Oh, I see what they're doing. 94, 2000, 2006, 2013, all of the years of PlayStation. Now they're just showing some various PS4 games, and then maybe also technically some PS3 games that got ported to PS4, but uh, you know, PS4 games. Is there seriously another... Wow. Wow. Grand Theft Auto V spans three console generations, PS3, 4, and 5. Good God. They're showing off the heist stuff, though. That's different. Expanded and enhanced, unless you're, like, already playing on PC. PS5 owners will get GTA Online free at launch in 2021, which must mean that they're finally pulling GTA Online out of GTA 5, which is something I'd kind of suspected they were going to do at some point, and they're officially doing it. All game footage you are about to see from this point forward in the show has been captured from PlayStation 5 systems. Well, I would hope. While I never got the chance to play it, Spider-Man on PS4 was incredibly successful, so it's not really a surprise that they're planning on doing another Spider-Man game for PS5. Gran Turismo is back! I gotta admit, while I am definitely not a racing fan, it's probably one of my least favorite genres of games, um, racing games tend to be some of the best looking games early on for systems. It's just the stuff that they manage to do every single console generation is really incredible. And this is no different. Oh, hey! Man, been a while since we've seen these guys. Ratchet and Clank rift apart! I feel bad that I've never had a chance to actually play through those titles because they seem like they're genuinely a lot of fun. I wonder if we need a ray trace counter. They've said it once so far. One of the things I've actually liked about this presentation thus far is they showed a bunch of uninterrupted gameplay of Gran Turismo and they're doing the same thing for Ratchet and Clank as well. And in my opinion, that is the best way to present an event like this. I'm not sure what this game is quite yet. There's a lot of robots, humans have been extinct. But there's a cat, and I'm really, in, I'm really interested in the cat. The cat's also wearing a vest, which means the cat is important. Oh, it's about the cat. Good. I know nothing else about this game, but now I'm intrigued. Yes, I want to play Stray based on the fact that you play as a cat. <laughs> Ray tracing count, two. The controller has a uh, motion sensor in it. And we'd already previously learned about the adaptive triggers. Apparently they're making Groundhog Day, but you're in space. Maybe. Whatever this is, it seems kind of like a, uh, a roguelike because they talked about dying and then coming back and the the world is different. And I'm like, seems set up to be a roguelike. Returnal. I like that style of game. So we'll have to, we'll have to watch that one. Finally, a game with Tony the Tiger. There, Greo! Oh, you are, oh my god, Little Big Planet. Okay, it's called Sackboy's Big Adventure. But it's it's definitely Little Big Planet. It's def like it's conceptually the same as Little Big Planet, which is good because Little Big Planet is good. There's some sort of new car combat game, but it doesn't look like you have guns. It looks like you just run into people. But also, if you get out of your car, you can still be on foot, which seems wild. Destruction All Stars. Futuristic Wreckfest. The new Pikmin game is looking real weird. Is this Homestuck? I don't know anything about Homestuck. Something. They're making a new Oddworld game. That's neat. That reminds me that I should play an Oddworld game. This Ghostwire Tokyo game looks really weird, um, but I love the, the creepy supernatural aspect of it. And also Tokyo looks really great. Like it's uh, rendered very beautifully. This game doesn't look good in the sense that I feel like it's taking advantage of like the PlayStation 5's graphics, but it looks interesting. It's some sort of like space colonization game, and I like that, you know, conceptually. And it looks like it's called Jet, the Far Shore. The relaunch of the Hitman series has done incredibly well, so it's not really that surprising that there is a Hitman 3. These little guys look familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. Have they been in another, in another game? They have, right? I'm not sure exactly what this is, but I really, really like the art style of it. This trailer has continued to be more and more interesting, so now I'm, I'm 
extremely curious what this is. Little devil inside. Huh. From the creators of Octodad, I'm already sold. I was sold before I even saw that, but now I'm extra sold. Let me guess. Lego Bionicle. Maybe not. Oh, Demon Souls. That was close. There's some sort of action horror type game. And the frame rate looks really bad in some parts. I'm not really sure what's up with that. Village. Resident Evil 8? I really didn't have that pegged as the Resident Evil game. I mean, 2021. Yeah, I mean, I guess I didn't play 7, but 7 was, you know, the whole first person thing. So I guess that's why I didn't recognize it. Little girl and an astronaut on the moon looking at Earth. It was a really, really weird trailer, and apparently very early, but it said Capcom at the bottom, so that's intriguing. Oh man, this is, uh, 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 Horizon. Horizon Zero Dawn. I did the first 20 of this. Looks like they're making a, a new one. Horizon was genuinely interesting when I played it. Like, very, very good. So the fact that they're making more is not too surprising. Um, and also, Horizon did really well. So if you haven't played that first one, you should try it. Caviar. Maybe not caviar. Marbles. Grapes? I genuinely can't remember if Sony has officially released, like, pictures of the PlayStation 5 console yet. Like, or if they've leaked, or if, like, I'm, I've imagined that I've seen it. I don't know. No, I haven't seen this. This is new. It has fins. <laughs> my takeaway. Honestly, it, it kind of looks like a router. <laughs> Especially vertically like that. Huh. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Play has no limits. PlayStation 5. Okay, cool. I suppose that's the end of that. So that was neat. They showed off um, a nice variety of games in that. And then also, at least for some of them, they showed off extended pieces of gameplay, which I appreciated. That trend didn't really continue through the whole thing, but there are a few pieces up front that they uh, that they did. Um, will I be getting a PS5? I mean, well, of course. It's, it's basically my job to play video games, no matter what the platform they are on is. But yeah, it's, it's exciting. It's, it's hard to believe that um, the next round of consoles are closing in since we'll be getting this and then also I don't remember the actual full name because it's really long so I'll just call it the Xbox the Xbox uh, this Christmas um, I skipped out on the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X and I did that on purpose because I was like if I could just skip getting these and just wait until the next generation then I will have saved myself some headache and, and some money, and um, I did, and I'm glad that I <laughs> glad that I just skipped all that. <laughs> I have a PS4, I have an Xbox One, I've been fine with those, and now I get to move into the next generation, and um, you know, I'm gonna, I will definitely be getting a PS5. Uh, will I get it at launch? I mean, probably not, unless there's something I genuinely want to play and stream or bring to the channel in some way, but at launch, probably Probably not. I'll also be getting the, the Xbox as well, eventually, at some point. Again, probably not at launch unless there's something I want to play. I'm always curious whenever new consoles come out, specifically uh, what supply and demand looks like, since there's been many console launches across all of the, the companies that have been very scarce. So we'll see if they'll be able to meet demand. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you back here in the future for another video like this.